kind of like my pet. Someone surgery. like me wants to say, screw it, I want to do it right. You want to start fresh. And I don't. I want to get rid of all those bad habits. Right. Have you ever say, worked with someone like that? A few. Yeah. A few, but it's a work in progress, you know. We start all over. Or, you know, I took one guy right-handed and made him left-handed. Uh -huh. And that's like starting all over, right? Well, that's what I did three years ago. I said, I'm just going to do this right. Yeah. See how less hook it is? You don't feel like you're working your hand. Just opening it up and leaving a little bit of bounce is going to help you. Beautiful. That's better. All right, let's get some eight irons here. Get warmed up, hit a few shots, and let's go through our positions. Hello, there you go, now you got it. So, to make it real simplified, show you an exercise here. You've never seen this and it's gonna be hard for you to do. So, I want you to get this all set up. Hogan, his teacher's name was Sam Bird. Sam Bird was one of the few and only golf professionals who played in the US Open and also played in the World Series. His roommate was Babe Ruth. So think about that. Yeah, so he was more of a baseball guy that was a golfer that turned that into it, right? So he had some baseball antics in his golf swing. Now, what his coach made him do, obviously, his video camera was this. He used to say the proof was in where? The dirt. So that's what he did. But Hogan wished he had three right arms, okay? So what his teacher had him do would get up here, you would set this tray, and then the ball at that ball. So if I did it early with my body, the ball would be in front of the ball. If I went back and flipped my hands, it would be in the back. Where I want it to be is here and be able to hit that ball. Okay? So what I want you to get yourself to feel now is we're going to set the tray. We're in this good position and I want you to bring this arm down. Now when I'm doing the arm down, what's happening? This hip is Posting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're just throwing balls. We're gonna throw balls yeah. first, and let me see how close you think you are. I made that look pretty easy. Okay. There's the ball to hit. So do a full. No, no, that's a turn there. I want you to turn it right to there. Oh, and then. And then right to there. Yep. Good. So I'll look back. There you go. So set the tray. Uh, oh, yep. oh. There's the tray. Yeah. Okay. See the flexion in the right hand. Okay. Yep. But that's not like a real swing. I mean, yeah. my, my hands would do that. Well, maybe a little bit further okay. back, but I don't want it too far back, right? Yeah. I made that look pretty easy, didn't I? Is it? Am I just you're too close? close? No, no, you're getting close. It's not the easiest thing to do. There you go. So a little bit behind it, right? Yeah. See? Good. Good. Trying to feel the palm. Okay. Yeah. Yep, there you go. There you go. That was a little early, right, with the shoulders. There you go. Perfect, Steve. There you go. Bingo. Now, when you can that feeling, yeah, I know. That's a good, that feeling, that's good, right? that's a good, good feeling. So, what's going to end up happening now, the shoulders are more of a piston. Look at my left shoulder. Uh huh. Down. Right here. This was open uh -huh. when I stayed behind it. Uh -huh. The hands did that, right? So that's what I want you to get the feel is that it's like a striking cobra uh -huh. and let it strike its prey. Yeah, the, the key with that drill is to not, is to visualize the straight arm. The straight arm. Because that's the goal of it. That's while you're biggest, also. That's yeah. the biggest Kepka thing. That's where the power is. Uh -huh. Because I'm taking the palm on the ball. Now, what's my next move? My rotation. Is there any release of the hand? Uh, nothing. Is there any ball going left? No. There you go. Good. Oh, a little front. That'll take a week to get this thing doing. Good. You hit it twice. I've had
had guys do it 50 times in a row and miss it. Uh -huh. I mean, it's frustrating because you go, wow, you went up there and just did that, and I don't practice it much. But I have a pretty good eye and hand coordination. So let's put that now with the club. Right? And then when I'm coming down, how's the impact? Where's the left shoulder? Up. Uh-huh. Comprende? Mm -hmm. You got it? Okay, that's what we're looking at. That's now we're gonna bridge the gap and put all this together, and you're gonna be a rock star with this once you get that feel. Mm -hmm. So if it's out here, I'm gonna throw the ball in front of the ball. Okay. If I'm back here, I'm gonna throw it there. You gotta get that right palm right on it. Right. Absolutely perfect. What do you think? Okay. This is not bad. Set the stage for this. And here's the secret. We got the tray. And yeah, yeah. I, I had. I've gotten a lot of things in motion now where we can do this, as I said in my email, that I think yeah. this is the this is the really hard thing to do that yeah. separates the Kepkins from the day. Yeah, right, right. And, but you yeah. I think I'm ready to Oh yeah, that's why I'm feeding it to yeah. you. You're ready to go. So the thing I want you to take away today is how are the shoulders work? Yeah. See, did this left shoulder turn or did it pivot? Uh-huh. And that pivoted. Yeah. Turning would be Uh-huh. See? And then all I'm just trying to do is get the palm here. Yeah. Now look at the weight on the left. Did I move the yeah, hip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't move the hip by moving the hip. I pushed it down, and it pushed it out of the way. And that's what you're going to feel. See, we're getting back. The reason I haven't written my book yet is I'm not sure if I'm right or not, but because of all this neurology and stuff, yeah. I said, well, humans can only control their hands because that's what all your brain is devoted. And I said, because I've occasionally over the years get a really good shot. Went all over. And so now we're back to really swinging by thinking about your hands yeah. and this happens automatically right i didn't talk about yeah. say hey bump the hip yeah. or shift it by me pushing down yeah this is pushing out if if you get the right hand image your your vestibular your pre-programmed stuff already controls oh, yeah. this yeah that's and it's what automatic. i'm saying we just got to connect yeah. and get that neuron to fire the way we want it to right and i've never yeah. i've always been thinking of going left whatever with my hands, yeah, well, but more of a piston. Doing. I yeah. really like that piston. Yeah. That's, a, and that's the piston here. We're going to go like this. Yeah. Yeah, I Getting like that. that. Fantastic, sir. Now, you might hit 10... Good balls tonight. That's good. Then the next time, 20. But we're doing it the correct way. We're not doing it through the compensation way. That's what you're sick and tired of doing. Compensation, compensation. Let's do it correct. See ya. Motor skill wise, you haven't programmed it yet. Look at that. Look at that. Feel the spring in the shaft? I really thought of that. Yeah. Put right. piston. Piston on top of the ball. Palm down. When I read most of your stuff, uh -huh. I haven't had a chance to comment on everything, but a lot of the guys are saying, man, your swing looks a thousand percent better. And that's one one peer to another. So that's, I mean, that's pretty positive. Rather than go, another guy, you know, reviewing or debating and saying, oh, that's horse shit, that's no good, this is right, that's wrong, you know. So that's good. So I need you to do three on, three off. Three balls. Yeah, I like it, I like it. And then three air drive drill. Yes, there. Yep. Yeah. See, now the, where's the left shoulder going now? Up. See, it's piston. Now you hit three balls, then you do three air drills. And then we'll switch different clubs. How's that? Let's hook. Do that way. Palm. Yep. Don't drop it. Just extend it. Yeah, reach for it. 
Don't drop the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. there you go. You really are covering it. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. You're covering. Is that where the word comes from? Yeah. Because you, you really are. Yeah.